Hello friends, Arthur here and this is DSL Off-Road Track Review Part 3. And we start with Zipham Sand by Didi Nana and this is great, cool looking track, the decorations, the looks of it, like all this moving parts, balls, beach for the summer season, it's great. And it's not really hard track if you're doing it like directly by the, let's say, design or direct traction from Didi Nana, but you will be quite slow. And if you want to be faster, there is a lot of small shortcuts, small alternative jumps, and it quite give you a lot of time, but it's risky. You can miss some checkpoints, you can hit the barriers or obstacles so yes really interesting fun track to begin carnage by saint nicholas and all plague and the homeless really interesting start i fail several times there just to not react at the right moment but all other parts of the track there seems nice flowy there is no hard elements well except that it's all in off-road wheels so you have quite different traction on all these surfaces but overall quite nice track maybe the last uphill transition and pass to the finish could be tricky because it's blind and you don't see where you need to go and you can jump over and fly over the track but because finish quite wide even if you go off the road you still could finish it with some loss of time Is the pipeline travesty? I'm not really big fan of driving on the pipes, especially on outside of the pipes. I think this is pipe. If I'm wrong, just let me know. But I still think this is a pipe and I will be doing review from that assumption. I'm not really big fan of all these curvy roads, pipes, but with off-road tires and this surface, it's still seems nice because this track is not really fast you still have a lot of time to react on everything the only thing that i probably didn't like on this track is the signs they're basically the markers on the road so it's not a big problem i just used to see like the signs in front of you not on the road but yeah it's not really big problem you just need to pay attention on the road in front of you Quite well. Really interesting track with really interesting surfaces and transitions. On this track I found really interesting feature. I don't know will be the same thing on all other tracks, but I try to finish this track at the beginning with uh, using barrier right and because off-road tires are wider, I somehow hook up by my right tires on all these barriers and you don't have enough time or momentum to get out of from them before you hit the rock so it's a really cool moment and i think if you can able work through this moment people could be way way faster than me on this track all other parts of this track seems like straightforward so quite easy and nice Lunar Highlands by Gearwork Dragons. So I slightly biased on this track because I was playing this tr track earlier when Gearwork Dragon tried out on Open Lobby and there are some my suggestions on this track. Even it's this is quite hard track with let's say multiple passes. I really enjoy it and from last version this one's become slightly harder which again not a really bad thing but the way that you have two different ways to finish this track or even three uh, someone finds some like cuts from right to left jump out and if you do it correctly you can be even faster i love such tracks where you can finish in one way and then if you want to improve try more risky more faster way Oh, 
off-road glider by unknown so i'm not really love this track because of all this really strange way how you can go through all these checkpoints um, all these lines are not like quite visible and transition from checkpoint 7 to the pipe quite rng because of i don't know like wind or fans that blow you to the surface you can easily like fell off or hit the pipe uh, the finish is quite interesting one still not a big fan of all this lighting stuff but because unknown was putting this track in a showcase and he was presenting and a lot of people made suggestions advice and feedback i believe he could improve or change this track so we will see Greater Canyon Crutch by Vector Trajector. Very interesting idea of the track. So the first pipe, I believe it should be some kind of slalom scene, but because not all parts aligned perfectly, you have a lot of jumps, but because you're using off-road tires, it's like don't make a lot of difference. Then after checkpoint two, you have blind jump on part of the track, which Again, you can easily miss after first time, but on the second you already know where it is. Then jump to the checkpoint 4, and after checkpoint 4, the main hard part of the track is climb. And if you miss at least one of the boosters, you won't have enough momentum to hit the fifth checkpoint with the glider and uh, fly to the finish. So this climbing part, I believe, is the main core idea for this track. Zune by Burrito Legend. And I really enjoy the idea of a dune track with surface, with off-road tires, but there is a big but, and I believe Burrito should tease this video and fix his track, because the biggest problem, if you probably already noticed, you can easily finish this track by gliding, not using oil of these off-road tires, because all uh, off-road tires and glider changers gate are not checkpoints, so they are separate. And when you're doing glide, you preserve the biggest amount of speed, so you can be very, very fast. And as you can see, it's really fast result for me. Uh, but usually I'm doing all this track around gold medal and this one with all this flying stuff I beat after time which is not really on my skill level. So yeah, uh, this track should have this fix where all transition gates should become checkpoint to that players could finish this track as after wanted. Little Kingdom by Rika97 and really interesting track with really interesting ideas that you need to do like two circle on the track because there's some logic elements and it's nice it's fun the only thing that probably i'm lack of it's yet again signs and not all of them are like shown correct way especially at the beginning or most likely at the end so you need to be aware of all these elements and turns because you can not make several first turns at the beginning if you don't know where you need to go. This hill of Piste by Maxi12. Um, I believe it's just some kind of uh, rocky slalom winter track and it's quite nice. There's a lot of signs so you understand where you need to go. Uh, for me the biggest concern and problem was there's constant changes of surface from ice to snow from snow to rock this is quite distracting because it's dark track and you need to be aware of all really narrow turns and surf changes because even if you saw the sign that you need to turn right and you're on the ice you still don't have this momentum to turn and you will crash into the wall 
So yeah, but really nice, really cool idea and really fun long AFK. And thanks for watching part three of track review. Hope you enjoy it. Leave likes, uh, leave comments. What track did you like most? What your favorite ones? It could really help me. And there's still around a week until the track context will close. So you have a lot of time to submit your tracks. And see you next time. And maybe on your track. Bye.